Speaker, the Honourable Member for Skeenabokri Valley. There, there they go with their big union bosses again, Mr. Speaker. So let's, let's get this straight. The Minister spends months trying to justify regressive Conservative policies by citing labour market data, and then he says explicitly, and here's the quote, none of us know exactly what's going on in the labour market today. Well, well, you don't say, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Finance Minister. On Budget Day, his predecessor said that Canada's job vacancy rate was rising at an alarming rise right now. Experts, economists, the Parliamentary Budget Officer, Statistics Canada have all contradicted this claim. Does the new finance minister stand beside the statements of the previous finance minister? The Honourable Minister of Employment. What I said, Mr. Speaker, was that everyone involved in the debate on the labour market should have enough humility to recognise that none of us knows exactly what's happening in the labour market, but we do know this, and I'm continuing to quote, I do know this, that there, are, uh, there is no general labour shortage in Canada, but there, all of the evidence suggests that there are some sectoral and regional skills gaps, Mr. Speaker. That's the reality, and I wish the NDP would realize that it's in all of our interests to dig, to, to dig deep on this and to realize that we need a better training and education system that helps to prepare young Canadians for the jobs of the future. That's why I recently led a successful mission to Europe with the employers and unions on exactly that point. And the Honourable Member for Skeena, Berkeley Valley. I, I see someone else got promoted to the finance portfolio. I welcome my friend from Calgary to the file. It's clear this government uses made-up facts and hides reports to justify their regressive policy. A story in the press today reveals an internal report by Finance Canada on income splitting. The scheme will cost billions and the vast majority of families, 85% will see no benefit whatsoever. So when are the Conservatives going to release this vital report to Canadians and has the Finance Minister even read it? Thank you again for the welcome. Uh, um, as the Prime Minister said, income splitting was a good policy for Canadian seniors and it will be a good policy for families. Once the budget is balanced next year, the government is committed to greater tax relief for Canadian families. And a result of our low tax plan, the average family is paying $3,400 less uh, than it did uh, in previous years. Shamefully, uh, the NDP has voted against each and every one of these measures.